Come on up here, Russell. I'm getting tired of this. I think that's secret information, mate. <laughs> I just, I just, I just want to say though, it, it was an incredible privilege to uh, be part of of, uh, of being here today and, and the atmosphere. And I think that's the largest sporting event that I've ever attended in terms of numbers in the crowd. And uh, I had a little chat with the boys to start with, and and the response was really good. And you know, I could I could hear a click, you know. And they were, they were dead serious going out of those rooms that they were going to do something different this week than they did last week, so that was great. Can you stick around since you're trying to <laughs> <laughs> I've been asked that quite a bit. Uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. I've got a schedule, but I definitely uh, don't want to make this the last time I come to Ann Arbor, that's for sure. Did, did you plan on coming here originally, or was it because of the way the season started? Or? It was because of the way the season started. <laughs> I could uh, sense through uh, what I was watching on TV that my friend was in a bit of pain. So I thought I'd just sort of take his mind off things and gave him a call and started teasing him about it. And uh, he said, get up here. So he told me, he said, I ne he said, you need a rabbit. He said, I've been watching uh, some TV sh channel I won't mention. And he uh, <laughs> said, you need a rabbit. See, this the, the name of uh, Russell's team is the Rabbitohs. South Sydney, they just celebrated their 100th uh, year of rugby last year. So uh, you're talking about tradition. and. So um, we were really delighted. The players, uh, it was a great thing for them. Where did you fly from? Today, from Washington, D.C. Yeah. Russell, as I understand it, Lloyd spoke to your team when he was in Sydney, is that? Yes. And based on what he said to your team and what you said to his team today, who is the better pregame? <laughs> <laughs> I already said he was much more effective. <laughs> That's just luck, though. No. Um, he was great. Lloyd, Lloyd uh, was a, a fantastic addition to what we did with the team last year. Just to explain to those of you that don't know, um, about 12 months ago with a partner in Australia, I took over South Sydney Rugby League, um, which is the oldest team in the competition. It's been the most successful team in the competition, except they haven't won since 1971 when I was seven years old. Haven't actually made the finals for the last 18 years. But this year we managed to put together a 12 and 12 season to make the finals for the first time in 18 years. And part of the, the change uh, or changes we, we brought to the team was changing the culture and bringing someone like Lloyd down to spend some time with our very young coach and to talk to the players and in terms of giving them fundamentals for, for what they need to be thinking of going forward in the, in the future. Um, Lloyd was a great addition to what we did this year and, it was, and he was much more effective than he's, he's talking so about. Based on what you saw today, who would make the better rugby player, like Hart or uh, would it be Pringle? I want Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon Jake would be like a nuclear bomb, man. <laughs> 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 well, so when you talk about the whole experience coming to Mission Stadium, I mean, it's a big house. It's, it's fantastic. House. Absolutely fantastic. Fans went crazy. Yeah, it's fantastic. The, the atmosphere is great. Um, I don't know, some of you might have heard that we, uh, we cut our cheerleading squad this, uh, in my football team. Um, but we don't have cheerleaders like this, man. You got, to, you got to understand, it's a completely different cultural thing. You know, ours are sort of somewhere between a really cheap burlesque show and stuff. You know? So, uh, uh, you know, because we just wanted to make the football more of a family experience and stuff. And we've we've had right across the board, we've had great success this year in terms of raising our, you know, merchandise, raising the crowds that come. We're the number one TV team in the game, you know, for the regular season. And uh, as I said, you know, Lloyd coming down to uh, Australia was part of the ongoing education of the club in general, administration, coaching staff and players. Also, did you ever consider playing Coach Harmon? <laughs> well, he's a he's handsome man. He's trying to man. make money. He's trying to make money. <laughs> hey, <laughs> he, hey, he'd go broke if he made a movie with me in it. <laughs> Russell, it is pretty unique that Coach used the movie Cinderella Man last year. How did you hear about that? And it strikes me as unique that you were touched by it as you were. Yeah, well, see, um, I love Jimmy Braddock. I think he's a really important sports figure. And I think his story was, you know, really needed to be told. And I was on that film for seven years before it got made, man. You know, it took a long time for, for people with the money to make the film to say, okay, yeah, we'll make a film about a boxer who won the world championship in the Depression, you know. Um, and I was really touched that he was using it, but I also, by seeing what he was using, I could really understand that Lloyd was a very, very smart individual. And so I wanted to just meet him, and so I just called his office and said, uh, you know, good night, mate. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> as you do. When, when he visited you in Australia, did you enjoy that? How was that? That was great. He came down. He spent. He, he I think, um, it probably intimidated our coach Jason Taylor a little bit to begin with, you know, because he didn't quite fully understand it. But the very from the very first conversation he had with Lloyd, he started to realise that sport to sport doesn't matter. You know, man management is the same regardless of what sport you're talking about. You know, and the experiences that Lloyd's had in the years in the game and all that sort of stuff. So Jason actually found him, you know, to be a fountain of knowledge. And um, Lloyd just went every day for, for over a week probably to the training and, and just saw the guys every day and got, you know, it was very much part of their lives for the time he was down there. And then when he did talk to them finally, I mean, you, it was a very impressive speech. He's a, he's a really incredible orator and, and a great leader of men. And uh, he's just a little too humble to, <laughs> to acknowledge how effective he really is. So, uh, when, when was Lloyd down there? Um, you're down there for the Raiders May. game, so it's like May, yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of crowds you get at your Our largest crowd this year was 34,500. But the stadium at Sydney, it's the Olympic Stadium, how many does that yeah. see? Well, when it was the stadium for the Olympics, it seated 107, but now it's been um, shrunk down to 80,000. One of these days we might get somewhere near that. So no snippet at all, what you said at the beginning? One little snippet? It's just a matter of, you know, being one voice, you know. Just sort of everybody wanted to do the same thing for the same reasons. Kind of like that. Mate, I'm, a, I'm used to film uh, press conferences. You just interrupt away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, is the, the violence when you're on the field, is it comparable? I mean, can you, like when you're standing at your field level today? Yes, I was. Yeah. Could you, Oh, it, was a, it was a really exciting game, and you could sense that the guys w were, were determined and they, and they uh, really put it together. Um, I don't, I'm not really a, a student of the game completely. I don't understand everything that's going on, but uh, most of it, you know. Um, but I think the, the big difference is between the two games. Let's actually start with the similarities. Rugby league is, is probably a lot easier for uh, an American sports fan or American football fan to follow the rugby union. There's currently a rugby union World Cup going on in France, but rugby league is a 13-man game that has a defined period of offense and defense. So the same way you guys have four downs, we have six tackles. You know, you, you punt at the end of, of, of your uh, of, of your four downs and, and to, to gain territorial advantage, and the same thing happens in rugby league. But there's no blocking, there's no forward passes, and kicking is actually an integral part of the game as well. So during the course of the time you've got the ball, you might put through a kick that goes on the ground, which is very hard to catch, or one that goes sky high in the air, you know. So I think um, the two games do have a very similar base. And uh, I think anybody who's a fan of one could definitely be a fan of the other. You know, I mean, it's really exciting for me down there today, on ground level, watching the game like that, feeling the buzz of the players and feeling their intentions, you know, it was great. How long were you planning to stay in the area? Uh, well, I want to have a couple of beers with Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> so just however long that takes. Coach Carson, uh, fair enough to say that I mean, like your high school will be an Ohio State weekend. We're gonna, we'd like to have him come back every week, but he's, uh, uh, you know, he's got another film that's going to debut here in November, uh, American Gangster, which um, I had a chance to see uh, 310 to Yuma, and I had a chance to see American Gangster when I was uh, in Sydney at, uh, with Russell, and they're both uh, tremendous movies, and he's. Uh, filming another one right now in, uh, well, I, I don't want to speak for him, but, and then he's got another one next January. So he's going to be very, very busy, but uh, see those movies. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right. Thank you. Nice, nice Thank to meet you. you. Bye -bye.